So here's the thing, when you've got a guy that can run a sub four mile and you want to interview him, you don't sit down and interview him, you run with him. William Paulson, Scotty Gaines here for HouseOfSparky.com in Sun, Sun Angel Stadium and we're going to go for a mile, right? Sounds good. Let's, Let's do it. Up. Here we go. So 359, are we going to run that right now? I don't think so, not after this workout. Uh, not you, sure I can manage that. Tell me about this workout you just did, it was sprinting all over the place. Uh, an 800, a 600, a 400, and then a 200. I ran a half mile, or a half lap, excuse me, while you guys were doing this, and I was dead. <laughs> I don't understand how you come back every day, and this is just mile one of four of your cool down? Uh, yep. You are one of the few Arizona State Sun Devils in history to run the sub four mile. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I hear, so it's cool to be a small part of the great history of uh, Sun Devil Athletics, absolutely. When you're running a mile, and especially in a race type thing, what goes through your head? Because right now what's going through my head is, we gotta finish this earlier, until I, <laughs> unless I'll pass out. What goes through your head? Um, reacting to what's happening here around you, trying not to use too much effort early on, and just being ready to, to pick it up when you have to towards the end of the race, really. I'm always aiming to have that extra gear at the end, kick over the last lap, and uh, you know, try and win it that way, I think, yeah. Would we be up for a 100 meter race at the end of this? Hey, if, if you wanna give it a go, <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> That was, a, that was a scary yes, but we're gonna do it. That's one lap down, we've got three more to go. Mm -hmm. You're coming from Tetbury, England is your uh, hometown. Tell me about that. And what's, what's the difference between that and here in oh. Tetbury, Arizona? Um, I mean, it's probably the exact same. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, it's, uh, it's pretty much night and day. Tetbury's a tiny little place really, out in the countryside in the UK. No tracks, nothing like that. So all my training was out in the fields in the countryside. Where, where did that start? You say there, there wasn't really many professional tracks in your hometown. How did you get to be the track star you are now? I really started at a young age. Um, I ran with my dad a lot. Um, and then I ran my first cross race, uh, I think when I was seven. And uh, been running track since I was about 12. So it's been a pretty long journey for me. Is it time for a two lap water break? So I will never ever come close to breaking a sub four mile, or really even a sub six mile. But I think we're somewhere, what, in the first two laps, that was like a minute maybe? We were, we were booking it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'd say, you know, 58, 59, something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. We're pushing world records, not, not exactly world records, I'm slowing them down, but we're getting close to it. <laughs> two lap water break done, we ready to get back on the track? Yeah. All right, man, yeah, let's do it. Now. You're going into a, a big mile or 1500 meter race. Yep. What's the last song you play on, on, on your phone before you go out there? Um, has to be a song by a British group called The Prodigy. The Prodigy. Yeah, called Omen. Oh. That's the name of the song. That sounds good. It sounds neat. Uh, it is. It, is. <laughs> it really gets me hyped up before a race. So that's what I always listen to when I'm warming up for a race. Always some Prodigy. What's the wake up morning to track? What do you do? What, what do you eat? Do you meditate? What, what's, your, <laughs> what's your secret? Um, I mean, I wish I could say there was some great secret, um, but honestly, it's all about just managing your time, which I'm not always the best at. <laughs> you, in a, such a short time, have really gotten to be close with the guys you're running next to here in Tempe. I think when you spend this much time with the same people, you develop a very close bond with them very quickly. And uh, yeah, absolutely, I get on great with all the guys on the team. So what do you guys love to do away from the track? Um, you know, we hang out, we watch football games. So As in soccer enjoy. or football? American football. American football, nice. Yeah. Go play top golf, stuff like that. Oh, I like you top know. golf as well. Huh? Yeah, top golf is great. Can you play golf golf? I wish. <laughs> My granddad tried to get me into it when I was younger. I was never good enough. So, it. so track is the, is the main sport here? Absolutely. <laughs> I run track because I didn't have the coordination or skill for anything else. We're getting into the final 100. Are we racing? Sure. All Start. right. Whoa! <laughs> So that's Will Paulson. He runs a 359.59 or 359.9. I don't. I need some water. Scotty Gange, thank you, Will Paulson. Signing off for HouseSparky.com.